Hey, hey, you guys. Whoops, let's go ahead and start pulling some cards. They're already flipping out. We've got the Queen of Spring here, okay, Queen of Wands. Believe in yourself. Wonderful people want to help you. Maintain a balance between work and home life, okay? Don't come out of balance. Make sure that you're in balance with, you know, if you have, everybody has responsibilities, you know, you have responsibilities in your home with your family, you know, and usually when that is not like, you know, okay, so we got the father here, the emperor, you know, a lot of the time the father will spend a lot of time at work, right? So make sure, you know, and then what happens, mom and dad get in a fight because dad's always at work all the time, never coming home, hanging out with the family. We don't want all that. So we have the emperor as the crossing energy and it says use logic and structure to increase your success, get organized, affirm a compassionate leader. Okay, you could be dealing with somebody in a place of authority or this is about you really tapping into that place of inner authority. We do have Aries now here twice. We have the Four of Summer, which is the Four of Cups, and that one talks about being distracted and failing to see a magical opportunity, taking someone or something for granted, discontentment with life. All right, so you are showing up, I like that, as the Queen of Spring. We have the Moon in the recent past and on the... Oh, what's on your mind is the four of winter. So the moon is about beautiful, intuitive epiphanies, epiphany, excuse me, letting go of worry and fear, understanding the truth of a situation. And what's on your mind is setting aside your concerns. You can make a decision later. Solutions that come from meditation and need for more sleep. You do need that. Oh my God, we have the sun and the moon here. Plans that work out perfectly. Amazing ideas that lead to rewards and accommodations. Gratitude for the blessings of life. You are showing up as the three of summer. All right, news we're celebrating. Announcements such as weddings, graduations, or births. Friends you cherish. And we have the five of winter. And it says walking away from any dishonest associations. Realizing that what you thought you wanted isn't the best choice for your happiness, something that's not worth the effort. This one landed face down, so I'm going to put it back in. What do we have in the hopes and fears section, Spirit? What do we got? We've got the three of spring. Plan your next step, steps with an eye to the long term. Have patience. There are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. And, wow, look at that. We have another major arcana. We got four major arcanas. This one is balance. This one is the justice card in the original right away. And it says, take everyone's input into consideration. Merge viewpoints to create a better solution. Take your time. There's no need to rush. Bottom of the deck, another major arcana. This is a hermit. And it did just say, no need to rush. And the hermit doesn't rush for anything. And it does tell you, find or be a mentor. Take a break from society, a commitment to your spiritual growth. Okay, I feel like with the overall energy being that it is the hermit and then right next to it, we do have um, the four of swords and we have the four of summer. I feel like someone here by like, I think you're looking at all of your options. I really feel like you're thinking about all the options of what you can do before you make any decisions. And I do feel for a lot of you, you could be talking to a psychic, you could be talking to an astrologer, you could be reaching out to one, scheduling a reading, please schedule a reading. And you guys, if you've gotten this far, please give it a thumbs up, comment. Um, it does help my channel grow. It costs you guys nothing, but it's the interaction between you and the channel that actually gets my videos out there, okay? So if you don't mind, I would really appreciate it. Anyway, back to the reading. So we do have here with the hermit, this is about like taking a class. You could be, um, I really feel like you could be working with people in a place of authority as well. That's what I'm getting here. There might be something that you're trying to get started. Maybe you've been trying to get something off the ground, but it's almost like you're, you're, you're meeting up with people who are not quite helpful, okay? They could be blocking something, but I, it's not that they're blocking it. It's just something that you need to do first. But I feel like you're going to be able to exceed whatever this is. You might need to talk to somebody who's in a place of authority that can actually help you with um, some of this. And it could be more than just one person. So please do keep that in mind because we do have the three of cups here.
I'm also getting here that someone is on the fence about reaching out to you. Maybe somebody's not reaching out to you or not accepting any of your calls. Okay, that's gonna be for a few of you, but I do feel like you're gonna find out why. For some of you, you're gonna find out some type of gossip about this situation as well. But when it comes to work, I feel like you're going to, like everything's gonna end up working out just fine. Even with the relationship situation, if there's a relationship here or you find out some gossip, or whatever, it's not really gonna matter. I feel like you just kind of walk away and you're like, okay, well, what else is next? It's almost like it's going to be painless. <laughs> like that's what I'm getting here is it's like painless. It's almost like you're, you intuitively already knew, right? Some of you, I think you're just really going into hermit mode. You're really like thinking a lot about like what your next steps are, what you want to accomplish moving forward, where you want your new beginnings. And I feel like whatever it is that you're planning, everything's going to end up working out. You do need to let some people go. They're just, other people, I feel like just want to block you from succeeding. They want to block your happiness. There could be three people involved. I'm definitely getting three people. You might have to walk away from a couple of different people. Because I am seeing that here. And I feel like you're just kind of turning your back because this is how I see it. It's like he's not even looking at them. He's turning his back on that. Like I'm going towards my happiness. I'm taking back my power. I'm going towards my creativity. And I'm staying very balanced. I don't see you walking away from certain people like it matters because at the end of the day you're happier without them i am seeing here someone too possibly giving birth i'm almost getting midwife i'm seeing a midwife here maybe you're having a home birth or somebody is like getting ready to give birth because i do have the son with the three of summer. Listen, if you're a mama, because we do have the mother and the father energy, you could be getting some type of information. You could be finding out, you know, that you're having, you know, this, this, I, I'm getting a girl here. You could be having a girl. Obviously that's not for everybody. Take it if it resonates. If that resonates, then this reading definitely has messages in it for you. If that's the case for some of you, you've walked away from this partner. You, the, I, because I'm getting that the 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 mother and the father definitely could be separated. Somebody here is taking a break in a relationship. They're not reaching out, and yes, there could have been a child that was conceived before the breakup. I do feel like there will be balance restored. Not that this person will get that. Not that the two of you guys will get back together. That's what, not what I'm seeing here. I'm also seeing four, four, four. Okay. Four, four, four could be of importance. You might be seeing four, four, four. You could be looking at the clock at four, forty, four. We also have two threes here. We got the nines here. Two nines. Nines are about perseverance, not giving up. Make sure you're balancing your time wisely. I do feel like if you're dealing with any type of court, you need to talk to an attorney. That's what I'm getting. I feel like the attorney is going to help you. You're kind of on the fence about how something is going to play itself out. If you're dealing with court, but I do feel like justice will be served and it, uh, whoever is on the up and up, it's going to take your side. You're going to get some information because he's riding in, blowing the horn. So there's going to be some type of final information, you know, the, the horn is going to be blown and you're going to be able to walk away from a certain situation. Someone here definitely has information that you need. This person is very wise, wise beyond their years. There could even be an age difference with this mentor that you're coming into contact with. If you haven't already come into contact with them. 
For others of you, if you've been single for a while, I do feel like you could end up having some uh, choices in love. Definitely seeing choices in love, but it's because you have been like not in a relationship for a long time. You've kind of taken a break from relationships. You know, you've been doing a lot of your inner work, working on your creativity, working on, and just kind of like not really accepting any offers when it comes to love. For some of you, maybe you're, you're a widow. Okay, I do get the widow energy here as well because we do have the moon and the sun and they are separated, the emperor. So you could definitely be a widow or a widower. You might even have choices in love. That's what I'm seeing here. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. Take what resonates, discard the rest. If you find yourself in a stagnant situation, though, seriously, recalibrate, rebalance yourself before you make any decisions to move ahead doing any of this other stuff. If you're being prompted to kind of close out some cycles, do so, because I do feel like there are happier times ahead. I feel like if you're being held back right now for any reason, there's, you know, it's because you really need to take a step back and reanalyze because there might be something else out there that is better for you, whether that's a relationship, a job, all of those things. I think you need to rethink, um, rethink what you're doing. So take a break. I love you. Take care.